Well, good afternoon, and we've got a special treat today. Um, we have the chance on Halloween to talk about zombie stars. So tonight is Halloween, and while you're outside taking the kids around for trick-or-treating, take a moment to enjoy the night sky. One day soon, scientists expect a stellar explosion some 3,000 light years away to wake a dead star. And here to tell us what a zombie star is and why we should keep an eye on the night sky is Dr. Charity Woodrum, NASA astrophysicist. Um, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me and happy Halloween. Same to you. Um, well, let's start about talking about zombie stars. It sounds pretty scary. What exactly is a <laughs> zombie star? Yeah, so a zombie star is just a nickname for various different types of dead stars. In this case, the dead star is a white dwarf. The zombie star is this white dwarf. And it has a companion star that it's cannibalizing. The companion star is a red giant. And material from this red giant is being accreted onto the surface of the white dwarf. And that will eventually detonate into a thermonuclear explosion. And that's what we'll be seeing in the night sky soon here. Okay, and what familiarize me with the term... Uh, uh T. coronae borealis. What exactly is that? Yeah, T. corona borealis is the name for this system, this binary star system that I w was just discussing, the white dwarf and the red giant. And um, that's the, the name for this system that you'll be seeing in the night sky. Gotcha. Okay, well, there was a lot of buzz over the summer that the star system would explode by September, and it hasn't happened yet, correct? Correct. Yeah. So that prediction was based on past behavior. The last time that this exploded was back in 1946. And before the explosion, about a year before the explosion, they noticed that it started dimming in light and then it exploded after that. So when we started to see this system dim, we knew that it was going to happen soon. But it's really hard to concisely predict exactly when that would happen. But we do know it should happen soon. And what, uh, what do scientists hope to learn by viewing this sort of um, interesting, amazing event here? Yeah, we hope to learn a lot of new information. Um, astrophysically speaking, this object is very close to us. It's only 3,000 light years away. So with our telescopes, that's really close by. So we basically will get front row seats and be able to study this in unprecedented detail. And so one of the, you know, we'll be able to answer open questions. One of which is, you know, as I told you that a year before the star or the system exploded last time, it started dimming and we don't understand why it dimmed like that. And so that's one of the open questions we're hoping to answer. Hmm. So obviously you said you could see it with a telescope. How can our viewers see this new star when it does eventually go nova? And is there anything we should do to prepare? Yes, you will be able to see it with an unaided eye. It'll be about as bright as the North Star. And so what I would suggest to do to get prepared is to just go outside and start looking up at the night sky, as we've all been doing with the comet and the aurora borealis and even the eclipse earlier this year. So just go up and look at the night sky, particularly towards the west, and get one of those apps on your phone to look that helps you find constellations and look for corona borealis and see what it looks like right now. And eventually you'll be out there looking and there'll be what appears as a new star in the sky. Very cool. What excites you most about this event? Well, personally, I'm excited about it because I've never seen a nova with my eyes before, so that's very exciting. As an astrophysicist, I'm excited because we have a lot of open questions about the universe, and all of these open questions are, in one way or another, connected to each other. So even though I don't personally study stars, I study galaxies with the James Webb Space Telescope, I know that these stellar explosions affect the evolution of galaxies. So answering questions about how stars explode can help me answer questions about my own research research in galaxy evolution. And anytime we can answer an open question about our universe, it you know gives us a little bit more information about our place in the universe. Absolutely. Yeah. So how can we keep up to date on this zombie star and you know what's what's going on with it? When when might the event occur and when we might be able to see something? Yeah, so NASA is monitoring, and we will let you know as soon as it happens. So follow us on NASA Universe, and also follow us there for other astrophysical events that might be happening, just like this one. Well, I, I will certainly be following along, and uh, I'm going to stay in touch if you don't mind, so we can, we can get some uh, extra heads up for our viewers, and we will let them know as soon as the event does occur. Uh, Dr. Charity Woodrum, thank you again for joining us, and um, it's just so cool to talk about a zombie star on Halloween. Happy <laughs> Halloween to you. Happy Halloween, and thank you for having me. Okay. All right, that's it for now. We will, again, keep you updated uh, on when this zombie star is going to appear. But for now, uh, have a great Halloween.